everybody, welcome back to another grilling video and today is gonna be a fun one. Today, we are making smoked pickles. Yep, you heard it right, smoked pickles. We're gonna do them on our Pit Boss Pro Series combo grill. You could do them on a kettle grill or any other kind of event you want. They're not gonna have a tremendously smoky flavor like you might get out of a brisket, but they will have that flavor, you will notice it, and you'll love them. Let me show you how we do them. All right, let's talk about what we need for this recipe. What would be best is using cucumbers that are specifically for pickling. These are not, these are full-size cucumbers, but we're making this as a quick pickle. We're not doing like canning pickles that we're gonna keep on, on hold for a long time. I think these will be just fine. And they're on sale at the grocery store, so look, we, do, we take advantage. We're also gonna use some black pepper, a little bit of dill, some crushed garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I actually like the flavor of cinnamon in pickles. It's kind of interesting, it's definitely different. Feel free to leave it out if it's not your thing. And then we have vinegar. I've got a little red wine vinegar and a little white vinegar. I like to mix the two. I just like it for the color. Use either one. Typically white vinegar is the normal process here. That's it. That's all we're gonna use for this. It's gonna be really simple. So I've got a tray to go ahead and slice and prepare our items. And let me show you how we do this. Now we're gonna smoke this at a low temperature. What we don't wanna do is dry the cucumbers out too much. So I'm gonna turn this to about 180 degrees, almost my lowest smoke setting. We'll smoke them for 30 to 40 minutes or so until they're just right. Let me get it started. So for our grill, we just turn the power on and go to the very first setting, which is the smoke setting. That's about 180 degrees for us. If you hear any noise in the background, the people across the canal are getting new seawalls put in and it's a little noisy. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our cucumbers. Now, I wanna do these in a couple of unique ways. Some I wanna make as regular old pickle spears. So I'm gonna take the ends and cut them off of this cucumber. I'm gonna cut this long ways here. And then I'm gonna cut them in half for the right size. And then we're gonna spear these up. I'm gonna do that by just going into quarters on each of these quarters. That's gonna be about the right size for a pickle. Right there. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. We're definitely getting some smoke forming here on the grill. Now we're just gonna lay these right out on our uh, on our pan. Now the next group, I'm gonna cut these in circles and I'm gonna decorate them a little bit. What we wanna do is, let's get a prettier looking one here. What we wanna do is use a nice peeler with an edge on it and we're just gonna come up here and give this a set of stripes. This really is simple as you have your stripe here, we're gonna move over about the same thickness of that one and we're gonna to go to the next one. And what this does is it gives enough skin to keep some structure in our pickle but not, and then you notice I'm using one with a few um, uh, the ridges on it. That'll give us a nice look on this when they're sliced. Now we're gonna cut the ends off of this. And we're just gonna start slicing these. We want them to be, oh, I don't know, a quarter to a half inch thick, but not much thicker because these are quick pickles. We want them to have enough flavor. And if we made them like an inch thick, which would be pretty delicious, they wouldn't be as um, flavorful. We've got our thick ones to go in there and we can continue on with our nice thin ones because I think the thin ones are gonna be the, the flavor ones we really want. And you'll notice, these are kind of big, right? So if you wanna go ahead and get smaller cucumbers or get pickling cucumbers, by all means, do so. All right, we've got our pickles ready and we're just gonna go ahead and get these all placed right here onto our tray. Now you'll notice, I'm not spreading these out real thin. I want them to get some smoke flavor because this is a nice delicate sort of uh, vegetable but I don't want them to get dried out. So you'll notice I'm overlapping them. I'll show you a close-up of this. You see what I mean, how I'm doing these in a little bit of an overlapping pattern. There's enough room here for these to get some smoke, but not so much that they're gonna dry out. I've got my thicker slices over here, and I've got my thinner slices over here. Got a couple of these just laying on there. And I have plenty of room over here because we're gonna smoke our seasoning as well. And we're gonna make these in one of these quart jars and then we have a couple of these small little eight ounce jars and that's what we're gonna do with the slices. I figure why not, if we're making these, we may as well make a couple of different varieties and enjoy the time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the rest of our seasonings. Now what I've done is I've made a little aluminum boat here just to avoid any of the liquid that comes off of the uh, cucumbers from going into their seasoning. So I just folded up these edges. It'll be a nice little way to keep them in here and I'll fold this other side here in just a second. That way we have a nice easy way to pour them out of here as well. And 
really simple. What we're gonna do is we wanna peel our garlic. So we just take our knife, smash each one, and we don't wanna slice this up. We're just gonna smash it. That's essentially it. Perfect. And drop them right into our little boat here so we can smoke these real nice. By the way, you want somewhere between five and eight of these, uh, these garlic cloves. Um, feel free to adjust as you need. Like this is not one of these recipes that needs to be exact. If you like garlic flavor on your pickles, hell, add more. It's good stuff. All right, our smoker just got up to temperature. Let me show you how we prep the rest of the seasoning and then we'll get this stuff popped on the smoker. All right, we're gonna start with our cinnamon sticks. Now what I like to do is I like to break them, at, uh, peel them in that way and then just break them into a couple of small pieces. Yeah, and you can just drop them right here with the rest of your stuff. We're now gonna take about two tablespoons of dill. We're just gonna pour that right on here as well. One and a half, two. We're gonna do the same thing with some black pepper. Just gonna take about two tablespoons of that. Get that right on there. And there we have it. We have our seasoning mix here. Now I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit so it absorbs a little bit more of that smoke flavor. With that, let's get our smoker ready. All right, with our smoker sitting right at about 180 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and pop this whole tray in, probably for 30 to 45 minutes. And we're just gonna keep an eye on it to see if that's enough time. Put that in, you can see a nice layer of smoke in there. Let's get this guy closed up and we'll show you what's next. All right, with our pickles on the smoker, it's now time to start working on our pickling solution. I've got two cups of water. I added about three quarters of a cup of white vinegar to that and I'm gonna add about another three quarters of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm looking for three and a half to four cups or so of this. That looks pretty good right there. And to that, and to that we're gonna add about three to four tablespoons of salt. And you can see I'm not measuring precisely. That's what I want in there. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up. Yes, I didn't bring a mixer out, so I'm just gonna start using my, uh, my slicer here. It'll be good enough. But we'll just let this sit, let that salt start to melt down in there, and when these come out, I'll show you the next step. We're almost there. Take a look at that. We've already got some nice color coming up on our garlic here. I think we wanna go ahead and smoke those just a little longer. We're at about 40 minutes. With about 10 more minutes left on the smoker side where we have our cucumbers and all of our spices, I wanna start getting that water and vinegar and salt mixture heating up in a pot. That's gonna allow it to get nice and hot. I'm gonna pour that over our pickles before we jar them up. So if you remember, this was two cups of water and about a cup and a half of vinegar. And then I went ahead and put in about three to four tablespoons of salt. Now, one of the things I really like from a flavor perspective is sliced shallots in this. Completely optional, but we're gonna throw some sliced shallots in there, let them start cooking up as well. We'll pour those over the pickles into the jars. Now, when this gets close to boiling, just go ahead and add in those shallots. I think that's an amazing flavor in there. So in about five minutes, this will begin to boil, and I'm then gonna open up and I'm gonna take about half of the seasoning that I've been smoking over there, the garlic, the pepper, right, all of that good stuff, the dill, and I'm gonna put that into this actual pickling liquid. We wanna bring this up to a boil. At that stage, I'll take the cucumbers out, we'll get those put in the jars, and then we'll fill the jars with this liquid. They're best after 48 hours, but I promise you we're gonna try a few in just a little while. All right, our pickling liquid has come up to a boil. We're now gonna go ahead and add in our seasonings. Got our seasonings right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to put this in. I've slid that one side open. I want about half or so of it to go in there. That's hot. And all of my garlic's gonna go in there. All of my cinnamon sticks. Again, cinnamon sticks is not traditional. I like it. I gotta tell you, this smells amazing. The combination of dill and cinnamon is really unique. I think it's gonna make a spectacular smoked pickle. All right, with this boiling, we are ready to start preparing this stuff. All right, it is time to get out our pickles now that we have the, the spices already off of here. Set these right out here. And we are gonna get our liquid off of here. Now I'm gonna take the rest of our seasoning and I'm gonna put it in there. I didn't wanna cook all the dill and the pepper off of there. So I'm just gonna pop that in right now. 
All right, it's now time to begin to jar our pickles. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our nice thin slices and we talked about putting these, whew, they are warm, right into a couple of these little jars. And my gosh, not a lot of, a lot of them fit in there given their size, that's all right. Put those right down in there. And then we're gonna do one of these with the thicker slices. I'm gonna have to go with the smaller pieces though. Otherwise, we're only gonna get like four or five in here. <laughs> that's crazy. These guys are hot. Now, this isn't like canning where you have to sterilize the jars. It's a good idea to keep them clean, and these are, but I didn't have to um, steam bath them, if you will. All right, got those in there, and let's throw some of our rounds in here as well. It's now a matter of putting our liquid on it. We're just gonna hold this up there, and we're gonna fill these things until they're just a tad shy of the top of the jar. Well, I don't know if you saw it, but I made a bit of a mess as I was pouring my pickling liquid over the top of these. But I've cleaned up the outside of the jars a little bit. I'm gonna clean this one a little better. And it's time to lid these things up. That's it. Set these in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours and enjoy. They really are phenomenal. And when you look at them, even, even right now, while they're still warm, hmm, even now while still warm, they are amazing. They've got this strong pickly flavor and a little hint, a little hint of that cinnamon. It's unique, it's different. I'd encourage you to give it a try. We'll pull this out, I'll show you one more clip probably tomorrow when I take a taste of these. But with that, let's zip them up, show you what they look like. And by the way, these are quick pickles. These will last in the fridge for about two to three weeks. You do not need to pressurize these. You don't have to put them in a canner and let the seals actually seal up all the way. Just tighten them up, simple as this and pop them in the fridge. Now I'm gonna leave these out on the counter just until they get a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler. I don't wanna reduce the temperature in my fridge. Let me just take a look at that. You got your garlic on the top. Cinnamon is worked down in there. There's a little piece right here. Just absolutely delicious. Look at that. And you wanna try these again. They really are delicious. Hmm. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this pickle recipe. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next week. Safe and happy grilling. Bye now.